Okay guys, so again continuing our DSS series, we are on DP topic. So given a binary tree, find the size of a largest LIS. What is this? Largest independent set in it. The subset of all three nodes is an independent set if there is no edge between two nodes in a subset. Uh, for example, let's consider binary tree. The LIS will be five. Okay. Uh, as there are five nodes in a bar, like this a binary tree and there's no edge between the nodes uh, in this particular subset okay okay let me uh, take down the binary tree which it is Yeah, this is a binary tree. How can we copy this? So, why the answer is 5, we will understand. Uh, basically, if you see uh, 40, 70, 80, 60, there is no road between these nodes. As well as, like, if I've taken 70, 80, we will not take 50. But we can take something like 20, right? But we will not take 20 because we have taken 40. Uh, similarly, between 20 and 40, we can take 1. And 30 and 60 and like 60. Then 10 is an option which we can take. So that's why 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, nodes which are there. So uh, I think this looks uh, to me as that problem where we. Uh, so yeah, like if this is a problem, how do you do it? Okay, so uh, one way to do this. So one way uh, to do this can be if. I, if uh, Okay, so I need to make sure that uh, no edge, uh, the, no two nodes in a subset will have a direct edge, so no parent child can come. So if I take the parent, I cannot take 2030, or if I don't take parent, I can take 2030 of uh, the children's two children. And uh, now if I have taken 2030, so I cannot take 40 and 50, the children of 20. Similarly, you cannot take 60 because it's just a little 30, but I can take 70 and 80. So I can take 70, 80, 20, 30, and that's all. Okay. Uh, what else? So, uh, okay, let me think. Sure. Second node. Um, you know, this is also one thing like you directly know the answer and you because this is kind of a like problem in itself and kind of a problem so but you cannot directly say that okay i have already done this now either uh, so if you know the complete fact then this uh, like but that is not no way it can be the thing that you already just uh, know it on your like yeah tongue that that you will say Da -da 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 -da, and that will be correct no so form that in mind what you are going to say so that he will also think that yeah you are like you are going to the like you are thinking about the approach and you found the approach very quickly but actually you are just like finding a way to tell the approach right uh, or basically yeah again like forming an approach because in this question also because you know the answer but how approach what is like why you do that is the reason like Okay, so I can do something like okay. So now let's start. Okay, so for this, uh, if we take one node, then we cannot take children. Uh, so I need some kind of a flag variable to just uh, suggest that whether I have taken this node or not. Then I call on my children so that okay, I have taken this node, and then uh, you can I cannot take this node. Now again, I call on his children that saying that okay. Now, if uh, like uh, I'm not taking myself, so you can be included, or rather, it's better if I do it in bottom up way that I call on my children first. Let's say I found the answer for children, so let's say I found the answer for 40. It is just one that because there is no other node, but then it gives on 20 that okay, there is one uh, like I can take one node in a subset that is 40. But then um, it says that okay, I have taken myself, and uh, 20 says okay, you have taken yourself. I cannot take myself because we are having a direct edge. So 20 uh, says that okay, the no, like 
there is one way that 40 is included or 40 is not included if 40 is included then i cannot include 20 uh, and if 40 is not included then i can include 20 so i think uh, uh, yeah one way of doing this can be if i call on my uh, i do a kind of a dfs on tree right so what dfs does is that it goes down to the leaf node and then it returns back to the parent so first of all i'll go to 40 and there are two ways uh first to include 40 and for not to include 40 so this is like for uh yeah number of what i can store is that number of uh, yeah the maximum subset that i can form down from 40 that's it i'll store that but there are two ways including 40 or not okay if i'm including 40 if i'm not including 40 so then i'll call on uh, children's of 40 g of sv let's say and then a starting node and then i'll call on that if uh, i'll only do this if this is not equal to parent right so what i will do is that for each children i'll get the number of ways to I'll get his R1, R of R1 of children and R2 of children. That's just like um, set a form a uh, we take children. R2 of i is the size of set found if we don't take children. So now what I can do key R1 may I can add if I take myself I cannot take children. It's multiplied with this. I just get some so uh, one plus all these nodes plus all those nodes which comes from the other children plus all those nodes which come from the other children that's what you can return but uh, R2 uh, for this can be like <laughs> maximum of like if I take you uh, like children or if I don't take children because if I'm not taking this I have both options I can take also but if I don't want I cannot take also and then I can return what uh, maximum so basically I will return the Because um, children returns me both, like taking or taking. So I also return both. But uh, what I do is I do max is equal to max of uh, mix comma. That I think we can do in the like topmost node. Yeah. my r1 comma r2 and the final answer would be uh, is equal to r1 of 0 for 0 Because uh, then this will be all the numbers. Yeah, let's uh, see if we can submit it.
ओके सो दिस इज अ बाइनरी ट्री ओनली अच्छा नाइस सो आई ओनली हैव रूट बट आई नीड अ पेरेंट राइट नो नाउ फॉर लूप इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर गेटिंग अ नेबर यू कैन जस्ट से एंड आर वन इज इक्वल टू वन Here, return a pair of integer properties. तो आर वन प्लस आर टू अगर आपने इसको नहीं लिया तो इट इज बेटर इसको ले लिया सो वॉट लेफ्ट का लेफ्ट लेफ्ट का राइट this not in this okay how it in pair okay. and dot first means take this and dot second means you don't take this plus second right max of solo ha you can take key and at first
and then call on solve of root dot first okay let's have it as stored dot first id dot second r1 ka left nahi hai ka left nahi hai राइट है चलो वो छोड़ा चाहिए मल्टीप्लाई तो नहीं लिखते नोट्स इन सेट में कोशिश कर रहे हैं प्रॉब्लम 
Given a set of n items, each having a weight and a value, represented by the blue and value, a knapsack with a weight element over blue, and uh, the task is to fill the knapsack in such a way that we can get the maximum profit, right? That the profit is what we are getting by summing up the value of the things which have taken and return the maximum profit. Each item can be taken many number of times. So, okay, so if I have, let's say, just to make sure we have the same base, let's say we have four items and uh, having some prizes like this and having some values like this. So, how will you go about it? This is V array, W array, sorry. And this is Val array. So, which elements you will take, how you will take, and what is the maximum profit that you can make? So, in this one, so the answer for this would be like taking this. Uh, And your capital W in this case is equal to let's say 10. So you will take this 8 and then you will take this 5. So you will take 5 and 3 and your sum profit will be just 7. Right? Because 3 and 4 is 7 is maximum. You will have taken 6 and 3, but that would give you 6. Wait a second, wait a second. Weights, right? These are weights. So you can take 5 weight as well as 4 weight you can take, right? So you can take, uh, you can take 3rd and 4th items. So value you can make as 11. But you could also pick in 5 and 3. So you can make 8 plus 5 just 13 is a maximum that you can take also 8 and 6 you can make 14 using the sum is 7 and now you can take a value of 3 also this 5 to 3 so it's 40 19 is the maximum answer in this one yeah there's a total profit and uh, it's my weight you have taken like 5 3 3 these 3 and you have taken 5 to 3 how will you do this so how will you go about it yeah, so if I can, okay, so one way of uh, doing this can be uh, uh, let me think about the problem. Yes, so as I just want to make a maximum profit, uh, you can see which has a maximum value, but then I have to see what is weight. I have a limit of weight. Yeah, so one thing I can take, I can try to take uh, all the elements, like let's say this having some weight and gives me some value if I take this. Then I get some value six, and uh, my weight reduces by that amount. Then I again call on that. Then I can again take that, or not take that. And if I not take that, then I will not take this again because um, because uh, yeah, that, that's how I will proceed. That how many times you want to take it? Just take it now. So for example, this is the weight and values and I have a capacity which is 10 so I'm on first uh, half 
I can sort it by weights uh, that will help me to uh, prune my search a bit uh, because if let's say I'm currently on this index I cannot take this one so that means like because weight does not allow me I know that all the elements after this are the having weight greater than this one thing I can say that okay but we can take some smaller elements now but that's how I'm saying like we are reducing the time see by saying that how many elements that you want to take of type 2 having a weight value 2 so take it once as you are on this index so that's how i can do this that if i'm currently standing on ID index 0 and um, i see whatever is my weight uh, w of 0 if it is lesser than my uh, knapsack i will stay i have two options like either to take it or uh, remain on same index because if i take it i can take it again if i don't take it then i will move forward so that takes out all the possibilities in this way i will uh, make sure that all possibilities are covered and uh, yeah as soon as my um, id uh, reaches equal to equal to n or sometimes uh, it's not just n like my w gets Yeah, my ID reaches and I'll return zero. Uh, I'll return. Yeah, now you can take anything. You cannot take anything, so I'll return zero. And I'll make sure that uh, during my time, like weight does not go beyond uh, zero. Okay. So I have this solve. I'll make an maintain an index, and uh, I have a current capacity. So if id is equal to equal to n, uh, return uh, 0, there are two cases, if uh, v of id, uh, it is weight, okay, uh, now I'm um, like sorting this, so for that matter, uh, okay, I can have that in a way, the get of id must be greater, lesser than or equal to capacity, then only I can take this and uh, if it is not then I will return like yeah solve of id plus 1 you cannot take this my capacity does not changes yeah, w and val array you can take this and be on same index also you have an option of not taking this and move to index next whereas that option is still valid even if you have that weight or not Minus weight of ID W comma val
Oh, sort of down the little way I didn't want to do. Because you are saying the next one will have. Yeah, that is when we don't sort it. We can sort to prune the search. So what I'm saying is that have a vector of vector of integers of v. Then you have for n i is equal to zero i plus n i plus plus v dot push back uh, your things like w i comma val i. अच्छा अभी के लिए we will have a a vector of values as well and weight as well w e and uh basically w e weight of i is equal to v of i of zero So we are here. So V I and Y of I is V of I of one. Sorted is based on the yeah, weights. Zero hundred W comma half is zero. Oh. N is just the dark sides, like double dark sides. Or if it is less than equal to CP, then we will take that or not take that. 
We will need a dp of handling for dp of id, cp, which can be a running like Don't take or just to be on the same index, right? ID does not change. Hello, I think there is some issue with the compiler. Let's stop this. 